All right, welcome to the stream. I'm starting earlier today because I want to get stuff done and I didn't play it as long yesterday, so. Ah. Big sigh because if you didn't catch it yesterday, I, so I, soft I soft locked myself in the Divine Beast. So, <laughs> this should have been done yesterday, but of, of course I soft locked myself. Why wouldn't I soft lock myself? Um, hey, confirm me. Did 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 I get all the Koroks? That I hope the screen answers that question. How did I soft lock myself? Okay. Let's let's start with a story. <laughs> I was doing this beast just as normal, playing along. Now, before this section, because I had beaten the previous beast, the one in the Gerudo Desert. I, ha I was out of weapons. I, I had a few slots that I could fill, so, you know, I decided to head on over to, uh, to Akala and purchase some, some weapons. Alright. So I get inside this base, and the first section of it is pitch black. And you need to use a torch to find your way around. So, because I had just spent a thousand per weapon... I was like, I don't- I really don't want to, like, drop a weapon and have it despawn. I really don't want that to happen. I just got these weapons. I'll probably need them for the boss. So, I picked up the torch. I used it where I needed to. And then it's like, alright, cool. Sunlight's here. Excellent. But I thought, okay, you know what? I'll put the torch down. I might need it later. So, I go about getting everything else. And I'm down to the last- the last thing I need to do. Now, for those that don't know, in order to do the one that I was trying to do, you need to take the blue flame outside. Now, at this point, I went back to go get my torch. Torch was gone. Either it despawned or maybe when I was rotating the divine beast, torch gone. So, I spent about 15, 20 minutes trying to figure out how the fuck am I going to get this, this blue flame outside uh, without a torch. And the answer is I can't, because I didn't have any weapons that were flammable. Like a, like a sword that I could use. And there is no angle where you can use a bow to, uh, to get the blue flame outside. And I gave up. I looked up on Reddit. I looked up some threads. And the consensus is you're fucked, basically. So, I had to load... My last save point, which is outside the beast here. So thankfully I had a save point that was outside the beast. Otherwise, uh, I may had I may have had to have started breaking a couple rules, because the only other way to do it is to travel out of the beast and come back. You couldn't walk with the bow out. No, you can't. Because it's a, so the blue torch is on the inside on the on the low floor. And the one that I needed to get to is on high ground. So that the, the, the the blue flame would run out by the time I got I got there. And even still, like, you have to jump over shit. Like, there's obstacles in the way. So it's like, even if by some miracle I could get close to it, the flame would be extinguished by the time I got out there. So there was no way to transfer the flame without the torch. So I was softlocked. And yeah, the consensus is basically, if you don't have the torch, you're fucked. You can do it with a weapon that um, lights, you know, you can take your, like, a, a club and light it on fire. And if you're quick enough, you can get it done. But I didn't have any weapon that could be lit on fire. These are my weapons. So, it was late, and I decided to call it quits. I just, yeah. <laughs> so that's how the stream ended yesterday. <laughs> anyway, hello, 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 YouTube. Sorry about yesterday. So, so, so we're back here. Um, I forgot to say thanks for clicking YouTube. I just, I had to retell that tale of anguish. But, of course, of course that happens to me. I just, if you watch the VOD, I, I really did try everything. I really, really, really did try everything. But, uh, the consensus is, yeah. You're, you're fucked at that point. 
So it's okay, less, lesson learnt. Lesson learnt. That's how you felt at eventide. Oh, with that thing that happened to you. But I feel like this is even more egregious. If I wasn't, you know, following this no fast travel thing, um, yeah, it would have been fine. I could just fast travel out and come back in and then progress, continue as normal. But I, I wasn't about to break that rule, so. Unless it was a straight up emergency where it's like, well, I have no choice. But thankfully I have the save point and it's just, it's not that far back. But yeah, uh, typical, huh? But yeah, all shrines are done, all Koroks are done, so. I'm just taking out the beasts, which today we should be able to get. We should be able to get both of these ones out of the way because, um, yeah, the one at Zora's Domain, we're already up to the, the segment with Fish Bro, so. Oops, I forgot to turn it. Well, Unova's dead. How about this? I'm going to save before I fire the last cannon shot. In the event that, I don't know, I, I do something dumb again. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I, I read this yesterday, so it's fine. I'm not reading it today. So, yeah, that's a little bit of sadness that I have to give up a weapon slot, but I guess it's fine. Um... I'll just use the Ancient Sword to beat the, the Moblins, and then at least it, it goes to use. Because there's Moblins up ahead, so. But yeah, I just I just had the, the last one to do, and then it just screwed me over. We've, we've seen everything. Just this place or through has had just everything. Everything. My last Korok was in Hyrule Castle and it was outside, so. Thankfully, the Korok thing, uh, yeah, it's actually straightforward. It kind of, it ended the way I hoped it, it would end. At least in terms of that hunt I was doing, so. At least that went well. Did I have to use a guide? No, not at all. Um, I just kind of pointed out stuff on the map that I thought I didn't cover well, and it worked, yeah. like. So overall, the only time we had to refer to a guide was that one on the bridge, which, ugh, fuck that one, honestly. That was the only time we had to use a guide, was just for that one Korok on, on the bridge. For a sec there it survived the hit. So all things considered, I'd say I did well. I think what went even better was just um 
Thunder Blight Ganon was just two attempts, which I thought I was going to be there for a while, not going to lie. But yeah, just second attempt, got it. It was great. I hate that fight so much, <laughs> and it got done pretty quickly. Curse is stupid on Master Med because of Thunder Blight. Yeah. You don't need a bow for Thunder Blight, though. I didn't really use one. Um, the, the best thing to do to Thunder Blight is um, you do a backflip. So the first attack he'll do, you do a backflip, you do Flurry Rush, and then the moment he's like on the ground you use stasis and then you just like you do your uh versus fury on that and that should get through the first phase and then the second phase you just got to be you just got to be quick and you you use stasis to give give yourself like enough time to pop a second skill on him Value of stasis in combat. <laughs> shit. Oh, shit. Not good. Okay, loading. <laughs> Hold on. I can't, I like that. That's, uh, that's basically a death. I'm gonna count it as a death. Stasis is is super invaluable. Um, yeah, I mean, if you want to see how I did Thunderblight, check out the VOD from yesterday. Uh, I'm not going to say it was clean, the fight, but to get through that initial phase, it's probably the best way to do it. And then the second phase isn't too bad. I've been using stasis for the uh, the Ganon fights, just to pretty much the the moment I get my first hit, and you know, he's in that recovery phase where he's about to go back up to the the air. That's where I use stasis, and I quickly like get another combo off. Right. So it it just means it's it's less shit to deal with. It's not going to prevent the heal, but at least. It just means the first hit you make isn't negated completely. So it kind of brings it down to like, oh, you hit him once, and then you just repeat that process. So every time you hit him once, you're basically hitting him twice, so then it counterbalances the, uh, the healing. I'll probably do it here as well, so, you know, you'll see it. Save here. It's okay. It's fine. Let's 
Scheiße, ja. Before we take. Now I have a safe point. If anything goes wrong, we're, we're good. Oh shit. So, no matter what, if somehow I mess this up again, it's okay. I have an out. I will probably go back to that stable and just uh, sell more meat again. Just to uh, make up for the fact that I had to drop a weapon. That just sucks. It's kind of wild because usually in Zelda games, they always have a contingency. It's rare to have a soft lock situation in a dungeon. This is effectively a dungeon. And for it not to have a contingency is, is just kind of crazy. Put a licking on that thing, Link. It's time to finish the job. This is our big chance. I love this because, you know, Link just goes, yeah, see ya. <laughs> just leaps in. <sighs> All right. I'm going to do that that one first, the torch one first. I I don't want I don't want anything going wrong. I always knew you'd come back. You know, I never stopped believing in you. You're here to take control of old Radania back from Ganon, eh? You're gonna need a map that shows the guts of this place. You can grab the info from the Guidance Stone over there. Now get a move on! Okay, mission start. Hey, Seth, how's it going? That explains it because it was in it was in a chest. Okay, well, yeah, I have no choice. I have to drop this. It's kind of annoying, but you know, it is what it is. I'm hoping I can have a situation where I don't lose the weapon, but we'll see. I'm 
being careful. For this for this initial part. This is the kingdom preloaded. Ah, yeah. Oh, yeah, this is the, uh... This is the... The lizard. Whatever you want to call it. I softlocked myself in this yesterday, so... This should have been done yesterday. Because of course I would do something like that. Yeah, I mean, all the shrines are done, all the Koroks are done, so... Now it's just back-to-back -back progression from this point forward. Like, as if I'm playing the game as normal, you know? Except I'm still doing the three-heart thing. We'll be seeing a lot of combat today. Don't you get heart from the beast? Yeah, I'm doing the three heart thing, naked. Like... Yes, you do. But I'm not picking them up on purpose. Nice job getting the map of the Divine Beast. The terminals that control Rudania are noted by the glowing points on your map. To take back Rudania, you'll need to activate all of the terminals. You got this, little guy. So this is where things went wrong. I dropped my torch here. And then I went about getting the other stuff. So what we're going to do this time... <laughs> to prevent any fucking problems... I'm gonna put this down here. I hate that I have to do this, but you know... Okay. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Shit. Tilt it again. I'm just hoping if I do this quick enough. Okay, this is the spot. You wanker. I have to put the torch away. There's the flame. From here, where's the flame? <laughs> yeah, this is it's fine. I, I got this. I got this. Okay, do it again. Should play, but not enough time to finish it. Yeah, that's understandable. I mean, you could. You could finish it. 
Just the concept of 100%ing it or getting everything, probably not attainable, but... Could wrap it up, probably, in time. Okay. There we go. Now I can't softlock myself. Oh shit. No, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Now let's see if my, my sword is still here. With any luck, it'll still be here. It's still here. Okay. Alright. Problem solved. Now, now I can't softlock myself. That's, uh, that was unlucky. <laughs> now there's no soft lock. There are four terminals remaining. That's the way. Lord. I got my arrow back. There are three terminals remaining. All right, let's get moving. What you'll likely do is at some point later. Oh, you, you plan, you assume they're going to do a master mode for tears, so. We'll do both back to back. I guess that kind of makes sense. Nintendo at this point. It's like modern day Nintendo is just a DLC machine. Pretty likely. should have moved already. Let's see. Yeah, I have no idea where that's coming from, but...
Yeah, let's follow the thread. Oh, it's over there. I can see it. So, yeah, I mean, I'm really looking forward to it as well. Just, I guess, we'll see. What comes of it. Look at how simple this is. <laughs> Compared to what I had to go through yesterday. Ugh, man. It's fine. Just one terminal remaining. Just one more. Might not see you for a couple days. Yeah, combination of playing and staying away from spoils. That's understandable. Now, I know there's going to be a bit of that happening. That's why I usually don't check out big games when they come out, but... This one is a special case. I don't care who watches. <laughs> I mean, I, I care. Don't get me wrong. I care that people are around and enjoying themselves, but it's just like... I could be sitting here with no one watching and I'll still have a good time. <laughs> I guess that's the thing, is everyone's going to have the different direction they're going to head in, so it's kind of difficult. Okay, got our bow. Right, what's the last? The last one is... Tail. Right. Which, yeah, I know where it is. It's... It's the hot room. I'm not sure what approach I'll take to the game, to be honest. It's not like I, I want to do this again. I might just play it casually, just because... I mean, look. I think I'll prove... I'll prove myself with this game. But then... At some point in the future, I'll repeat this. It just... I mean, even with this, the only reason I'm doing it is because, well, no one got to see the first time I did it. And you know what? I'm glad I did it because nice. a bunch of stuff has happened that, yeah, now go ahead and start up the main you just can't, I, I can't make up some of the stuff. There should be a new glowing mark on your map. You're going to need to make your way over to that. Stay. My game is in a state of corruption as well, that's the best part about it right now. Is every now and then it'll just, uh... The blood moons be derping. We're going outside now. Rivali's Gale is now ready. Okay, Ravioli is ready to roll. Okay, so this is the part now. Where I can formally remove this. And be fine. 
So I saved, I saved this one for this fight here. Oh shit. Damn it. I fell. Should probably get rid of this because this is gonna be annoying. Alright, doesn't matter. Okay. I didn't take the Friday off. I'll just play it. Even if I play during the day, it's not my usual stream time, so it would probably be quiet. So I'll wait. Plus, kind of in a very busy period at work. And it's a conscious, con conscience thing. <laughs> like, I wouldn't want to take a day off when everyone's working so hard right now. Okay. Here we go. Watch yourself now. That ugly pain in the crag is Dan and Tandy work. Thing got the best of me a hundred years ago. Good luck, little guy. Go get him! So this is what I meant by using stasis in, uh, in these fights. Stasis is the most invaluable thing when it comes to master mode. That flaming ball is dangerous. Forget how this works. Oh, right, 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 I remember. Careful. Okay. I remember. Okay. Alright, so this is what you do. You get your attack in. And then before he gets up, do this. And then get another one in. So now that negates the healing he's gonna do. Do that every time, then the master mode fights are not that bad. Because, yeah, it, you kind of get- it averages it out. Easy. I 
got the hardest one out of the way. So, not this one, but the previous one. So, yeah. Aside from the soft lock, this was fine. And now we have uh, one of the best abilities, because now I, d I have less pressure when I need to deflect. Hope we get real bosses. We are. The three-headed dragon, that's like classic Zelda 1 boss. The three-headed dragon they show in the trailer, that, that is a Zelda 1 boss, so it's confirmed. It's, it's there. We are getting bosses. Yeah, they showed it in the trailer. I forget its name, but it's the, the classic Zelda 1 uh, three-headed dragon. The enemy variety in that game is going to be much, much better than this one. Great work, little guy! I think they're increasing the Zelda 1 vibes from it. Because of you, my spirit is finally free. Can't thank you enough. I feel like I should apologize. I was doing it was, all yeah, I it was in the, the reveal trailer, so... The best of me. Sorry but this isn't be with the a leak. This is just best. off what's been shown. The good news is, Ruthania is now back under our control. That means that our century-old Ganon beatdown plan can finally go into effect. I'm gonna take this down the mountain. I'll have a better shot at Ganon there. And then, once you've made your way into Hyrule Castle, we're gonna light that thing up. I wanna give you something. It's a special power of mine called Daruk's Protection. I wonder how they're gonna explain Link not having these powers anymore. It might be useful for you. Here it comes! Or maybe it's just they vanished once the fight was over. From this moment forth, the power <laughs> he was on a ship and that exploded and ruined his suit. Okay, I see. You. So his shorts. His shorts were destroyed in the process. Gotcha. Good luck, little guy. And give my regards to the princess. Out of four. This should have happened yesterday. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I mean, I, I would just get through the story, and it's just at least you're set up. Well, that ought to do it. We're set here. Now we just gotta wait for the perfect shot. Once Link is in the castle, Rutania will unleash an epic blast. Ganon won't know what hit him. Hyrule looks pretty good from up here, even after a hundred years. The old rolling grounds sure are a sight for sore eyes. I wonder how the Gorons fared after the Great Calamity. I sure hope everyone down there is still going strong after every... Huh? Hey! Look 
get that. Still going strong indeed. Ha! I think this is a nice moment. I'm surprised that this didn't happen with the uh, the others. <gasps> yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Needs more voice acting. Uh, they're not gonna do it. <laughs> Annoyingly, it's one of these RPG games where they they voice act three lines and then you have to read the rest. Uh, it would be nice if they added more. Okay. Yeah, finally. Uh, let's just go see the Elder. That was a shooting star in the background, right? You prefer no voice acting? That's fair enough. But we need to collect his weapon. Color me impressed, but good grief. Did you have to just do it when my back pain went away? I was ready to go rare and to go at Redania myself. Now you've gone and made it look like I was just fibbing about my back pain this whole time. Imagine that, me. <laughs> oh, and I'm happy to see you know, but finally got his act together. I know that's your doing as well. But enough of padding and other nonsense. Take a look at this. The divine beast Valrodania has calmed down and returned to his peaceful ways. Now we can get back to digging for ore around Death Mountain. All right, I still gotta thank you, brother. There's some treasure in my house. Grab it, keep it, it's yours. It's a sharp blade that Daruk himself once wielded. I'm sure you'll be able to make good use of it. Uh. However... Well, as a Hylian, you probably know this, but... Apparently around a hundred years ago, the Hylian Champion had a legendary blade. The sword that seals darkness. Yeah, it keeps wanting me to go there. I'm not going there. Not till later. Oh. Uh, I'm gonna have to drop a weapon for this one, unfortunately. But, you know, it is what it is. I use this one quite a bit, so we'll just drop it. And I'm gonna go put this in the house. You like to get the Master Sword first. Different dialogue. Yeah, that makes sense. There's also dialogue for being completely naked and uh, hanging out in towns. So, I like that dialogue. They accounted for the fact that people were going to do this, which I think is nice. I always get lost in this town. I'm being lazy. I'll see if I can spot out where it went, otherwise, I mean, it's no big deal. Yeah, I don't see a beam of light anyway. Alright. Onwards. Where's my horse? My horse was left at the base of Elden. Okay.
this next base, uh, the sequence leading to it is probably my favorite. Just the stuff with the uh, side on. It's a lot of fun. It's definitely the most fun one. And the good news is I don't have to set it up. It's just, it's all there. It's just I have the arrows. I just go meet Sidon and yeah, let's let's do it. Sidon is great, and it looks like we'll be teaming up with Sidon more. So, I mean, that was always a mechanic in the Zelda games was partnering with people. Just these segments have been good. I mean, at least I think so. Like, they show that they're there, so... Who knows? trying to think well i guess once this is done the next step is to uh start the ballad of the champions right which i got i guess for that i can go get the master sword and then undo my hearts Sticking to the three heart thing because there's like a few days left. And honestly, yeah, <laughs> it's, it's not that different from having seven hearts, to be honest. It doesn't, it doesn't really offer me that much more protection. I don't know if I've talked to Cass here. Let's see. Oh. <laughs> I think this is just the, the standard story song. Okay. Okay, course. Pona. So yeah, we're gonna go drop off the weapon. It's not that far away. 
And I can cross to uh, get to Zara's domain anyway from there, so yeah. We'll go drop it off at the house. Lay it to rest with all the other weapons. I think this is what Link would do anyway, just put them up in his house as like mementos. Rivali's Gale is now ready. Still getting used to that. <laughs> Just all these, uh, these voices now. Disappoints. All right, go. I'm more inclined to be on horseback now because at least the Yiga won't harass me. <laughs> it's kind of a nightmare roaming now on foot. Another cool detail would have been to be able to hang up armor as well. I'll totally hang up one of the costumes I have. forest is a very good forest to stop into because of the big hearty radishes. But, of course, I can't overstay my welcome because I get harassed. They may not have respawned yet. Oh no, here's a few. Here's one. Yeah. There's another. Nice. 
Always pop into this forest. If you're nearby. Horse is still following me. It's good. Radish. 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 I'd say I got all of it. Okay, let's let opponent catch up here. Let's <laughs> see the struggle of opponent. Over here, opponent. To uh, remove this temporarily. I think the, the detail that I am the most curious about is is it gonna rain the way it rains in this game? That's the number one detail that I just I just want to find out. I just I want to know uh, were they were they that blind? <laughs> were they that blind to like the almost universal feedback that people just hate rain in this game? At least make an item that lets you climb in the rain. Yeah, I've talked about this before. Is they either need to make something that lets us climb in the rain or just straight up nerf the crap out of it. It's one or the other. What was that? Okay, I'm not- I heard the spark thing, like as if I had something metallic on. It must have been something along the road.
Oh man. See how this works, guys. Uh, I think I I'm confident I'll do what I want to do. I mean, yeah, it's, it's Saturday and I'm fighting the beasts now, so we'll see how I go with that content, the rest of it. Second last time going to Hatsune. Yeah. I think after that, I'm not sure if there's any reason I'd go back there. Unless I want to do quests, yeah. which we'll see. Yeah. I wasn't going to bother with quests at all, with the exception of a few of the larger ones. The ones that are, yeah. I guess, considered significant. So, you know, Tarrytown's one of them. But the others, they, they kind of just blend in with one another. Okay, just making a pit stop here real quick. Because this is always good for honey. Just takes a minute. Guess these as well, they're good. Alright, let's go. How much honey do I have anyway? Yeah, 36. I've been doing a good job making sure I have honey. Stop because honey. Thank you. <laughs> well, see you late now. This is a bow thing. Okay. There we go. It's a nice little tribute 
to fallen friends. Out we go. Now... I said there's a bit of a trek. I'll just get back on the horse. It's fine. I was thinking climb over, but it's... I think it's about the same, to be honest. And now it's just more dangerous to walk. Ugh, just the Yeagers. But I didn't want to make it a thing like it looked like I was relying on Mipha's grace too much, so... I left Mipha for last. Yeah, we're just going to head straight to where Sidon is waiting. <laughs> Whoops. It's okay, they're fine. I'm sure they're fine. Minor injury, don't worry about it. There's enough time at the end. I'll I'll look into doing quests, but it just depends on how the DLC content goes. So weird. Uh, just I've, I'm used to the the world looking a certain way because that's been the norm for the last I don't know 80 or so hours of this, and just seeing these beams across the sky now it's just it's it's weird. Oh, 
Not to mention, um, yeah, not wearing the Korok mask anymore. Okay, halfway there. I probably should have stolen that weapon. It's okay. Once I get to Zora's domain, I'm sure there's a weapon I'll be able to steal. What's going on here? That looked completely normal. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> he's running, look, look how he's running, look how he's running. Wait, 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 Fuck, that's amazing. <laughs> oh my god. It just doesn't it just doesn't stop. <laughs> I want this thing to piss off. Because I wanna see this dude walk. Oh my god. Okay, hold on. You're okay, friend. <laughs> it's fucking... <laughs> He's for... Oh, shit! <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. Okay, I got... Don't you dare. I don't want this... Ma I don't want... I don't want this magic. To end. Okay, hold on. Please, please stand up. I, I want to see you walk, please. Where, where else is the danger? <laughs> Come on, man. You're fine. Get up. <laughs> I'm getting rid of this thing. I, I, I want to see you stand up. Alright, there's no danger now. Come on. What else? What else? The Octorox, maybe? What are you cowering over? Uh, I want you to stand up and start walking again, so what are you cowering over? No, there, there we go, there we go, there we go. Yeah. 
Yes! <laughs> Come on. This is this is just magical. We we've seen everything in this playthrough. Yes. Hello friend. Let's go for a walk together. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <boy. laughs> oh man. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> oh dude. You, you, you just can't you can't make this up. You just can't you can't make this up. Oh, man. <laughs> okay. I'm making a moment out of this one. Alright. Whoever was here... Oh, they're gonna get a special badge for this moment. This is going- this is the thumbnail for the YouTube video later. <laughs> you were here! <laughs> His face is the best! <laughs> I fucking love this. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I'm sorry, this is... Ah, this has been the best playthrough. It really has been. <laughs> if you ever need any little tips and tricks for how to get through life, come see me. I'm not the one to be stingy with information. For example, fish will nibble at ingredients with similar properties when you throw them in the water. Oh, I didn't know this. Whoa! I didn't know that! That if you throw a stamella mushroom, it'll give you stamina fish? Holy fuck, dude, you just blew my mind in multiple ways. Uh, I don't want to walk- You know what's fun even funnier is his horse is just like- what is, what is his horse doing? The horse has just been going around in circles the entire time as well. The horse is broken too. It's not just sideways, man. <laughs> I, I, I want a photo where it's just like, you know, just Link's head over it like this, right? And then... <laughs> like, yeah, that, 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 right, this right here. And then we go... Oh my god, this is this is the this is the greatest photo ever. <laughs> All right, uh, I I can't I can't just stay here forever, like, dude. That was that was magical. Hopefully the the moment badge thing uh, popped up so. You claimed it. You got a badge for being here. Congratulations, you are here. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what else to say, but other than, man, it's just so typical of me. I just, I just don't do anything and this shit happens. Oh, oh, I needed that laugh. <laughs> oh, man. That was so good. Link the Chosen Hero laughs at the man with back problems. I don't think he has back problems. I think, if anything, he has a super strong back. That's like the... A Michael Jackson dance move right there, what that dude was doing. 
Like the thing where they kind of lean forward. Used to be a backup dancer for Michael Jackson back in the day. Now just travels the land. Looking for people he can help with uh, fishing advice. That's his backstory. Get it? Backstory? <laughs> oh, shit. Oh. Alright, we move on. Just appreciate what ha how that happened was I was going on horse and then in the corner of my eye I noticed that this horse was right up against that man and then I was like why is that horse all the way up against and I, I go see and the dude's just sideways <laughs> I think at this point I, I have to compile all the clips from uh from this playthrough because we have seen some magical things happen and that's at the point now where I can easily have just 15 minutes of just me stitching those clips together with no effort. Oh man. It's been fantastic. And it's done the hot oh, but see that sucks because the thumbnail for this was going to be me fighting the divine beast in this area, but I think I, I just can't I can't do that now. It has it has to be sideways man. Sideways man has to be the thumbnail for this. Thanks for your service, opponent. I got a traveler's sword. That kid that wants to see the traveler's sword, I might try and hang on to it. Still laughing at this. Ah, oh, oh man. I just don't get it. it just, I I'm not playing games any differently than what I would if I'm not streaming. But all this stuff with the glitches and just things happening to me, 
It really only started when I started streaming. I don't know. I don't know how that that's a thing. It's just. I haven't changed the way I play games. Uh, I I am true to who I am when I play games. But somehow, just ever since I started streaming, it's just like I, I gained the passive ability, and it's just, yep. It's it doesn't matter which game I play. There's like a pretty high likelihood that that stuff just happens. What the fuck? Oh, okay. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh shit, I'm making that another moment. I'm sorry. That was that was just like comedic timing at its finest. Oh, man. <laughs> That's just comedic timing at its finest. I have I have to make a video of this now. Like that's it. That's 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 it. Just just too many things with just perfect timing have happened for me not to do it. It isn't. Hang on. Uh, adventure log. Baruta. There we go. Yep. So we're pretty close to where we're supposed to meet with the prince. We don't need anything else, I think. We've got everything. Alright. There's no buffs required for this one, so... Should be perfectly fine just going here. This is the one that doesn't require bomb arrows for once. Just over here. Sidon has been patiently waiting. Oh, 
we're, we're blood mooning now. No blood moon. Okay. Chat, the blood moon particle effects are still in the background. <laughs> I'm glad to see you're ready to go, Link. Are you ready for this? Do you have your Zora armor and enough shock arrows? I'm ready. Wonderful. Never cease to amaze me, Link. Let's go and appease that divine beast as one. Here we go. Wait a second. Now they look close. You're not wearing Zora armor. Let's have shock arrows. Okay. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Um, Zora armor. So you have to wear this. I'm gonna wait till the. No. Damn it! <laughs> I was trying to do both at the same time. The blood moon rises once again. Just have this crimson background or side on us talking. Uh oh. <laughs> it's, it's okay. It's okay. Everything's normal. It just took a minute to think. Okay, now normal background. Yes, we have the shock arrows and the Zora armor. Gaze is now upon the Divine Beast's back. Do you see those glowing pink orbs? You'll need to shoot each with a shock arrow. With Zora armor, you now have the ability to ascend waterfalls. Okay. I'm ready. Good answer. Let's get going. Ha, I am unstoppable in the water. Ruto is responding to our presence. I'll move away and wait for an opening before we approach. I'll keep going at full speed. It's up to you to ward off Ruto's attacks. Are you ready? Divine Beast Valruta will undoubtedly use its ancient something something. That includes hurling ice blocks. Need to watch out for. I'll leave those to you. Okay. Let's find it okay. Okay, hold on. I need to shoot. Ow. Here it comes. I'm ready for it. I need more normal arrows. They held on. Are you all right? Lady? Oh, okay, hold on. <laughs> I need food to eat. I mean, that'll do. Those tonics aren't going to be useful for anything else. Ow. Oh, 
call bullshit. There we go. Got it. This one. doing it. Okay. I'm going to the other side. <laughs> I'm alright. Not now, ravioli. Sometimes the angle of it is, is kind of annoying. Was lucky. Wait, no, that was unlucky. Get those shot. Last one. <laughs> wow, that was an insta oh, absolute thrill. Yeah, yeah. I will have to buy more arrows. Oh, why can't that happen throughout the rest of the game? No more rain now. Link, look, the water spouting from Ruto slowed down. Ruto's floating higher now. You wanted to venture inside, right? I'll bring you closer. We're counting on you, hero. Do good work in there. Well, Link, here we are. Looks like this is where the real work starts. Best of luck. Nice job cutting off the water flow from this divine beast. Show the enemy no fear. I'll see you back at Zor's domain. Farewell. Okay, Lost Beast.
The Guidance Stone there contains the information that you will need. Yeah, we can... Uh, hold on. There we go. Ooh, I don't have many arrows left. That is a concern. This one I remember. It's probably the most elaborate of the beasts. Good. You've obtained the map of the Divine Beast. You will see several glowing points on your map which represent the terminals that control Ruta. Take Ruta back by activating all of the terminals. Be careful. It's not that it's difficult, it's just the most elaborate one. Sorry. I thought it was gonna undo. There are four terminals remaining. Don't give up. Yeah, this is where uh, we end up later. Let's go, Ravioli.
Much better. Now I can just climb back up here whenever. Okay. Or something here. Am I wrong? There no, should be. Okay. Careful. Now, there are three terminals remaining. You can do it. I just like how encouraging she is the entire time. <laughs> Unlike Mr. Ravioli. I need normal arrows. We're fine. A little, a little awkward. that I've hit it. There we go. There are two terminals remaining. You're nearly there. Oh damn, that's that's a good weapon. I mean if I want to get the traveler's sword, I know where it is. Is that the start of Zora's domain? I can't say no to that one.
no ravioli power yet. I just needed to spray it lightly. I thought it was just so nice. This is another one where I have to... No? Okay. What is the go here? I didn't think it would be that simple. I can't interact with it when it's like that. Okay. Gavali's Gale is now ready. Ah, of course. Okay, I got it now. There we go. No? Okay. Plus. They're probably a bad spot to do this in.
Okay, now I can see it better. Start the main control unit. There should be a new glowing mark on your map. Head there. Be careful not to let your guard down. This is it. It's gonna be a push over to some degree. It's because I can go full attack mode. Well, we'll see. It's not like it's not hard, it's just compared to Thunder Blight, this one's not too bad. Encouraging character in the game. She's just so nice. Yeah, has a long beach. So, you know, that's phase one done. It's okay. <laughs> all right, that's all of them done. Now, if I was given a choice, I would have done this one first because it gives the cheat death ability, but in the interest of uh, not hard relying on it. I did it last.
All right. Hello, Link. Because of your courage, my spirit is now free. And Ruta as well. Thank you. For I am now allowed by this freedom to be with you once again. Since I am now a spirit, my healing power would be wasted on me. I have no need of it. So therefore, I would like you to have it. Please accept Mipha's grace. Yesterday, I was awash in a pool of tears. I had nearly given up hope and resigned myself to being trapped here as a spirit for the rest of eternity. But now you're here. All this time, my hope was to see you once more. Promise me that you will not hesitate to call upon my power if you ever find yourself in need. Knowing that, will let my spirit rest in peace. I must go. Ruta and I have our roles to fulfill. We are both honored to be able to play the role of support. We'll annihilate Ganon together. Farewell. Save her, Link. Save the princess. Save Princess Zelda. Ugh, I'm just so glad this is done now. <laughs> now to move on to the harder content. I don't remember how it ends up on top of the mountain, so I'm curious to see this again. So it kind of just rises on top of it somehow. I don't know. That's the, that's the disconnect I had, is how does it go from the river to up here? Still not quite clear. But I imagine it just makes like a jet stream of water. To rise. Ruta, we found a way to be useful to Link and the other champions, of course. Our job will be to help Link as he fights Ganon inside the castle, however we can. Using your ability to drain Ganon of his power is key to our success. This is it. This will be our last chance and everyone's last hope. If we seal him away, then we can restore peace to Hyrule. And both your duty and mine will be fulfilled. Father, are you well, I wonder? I want you to know I have always followed my heart. I'm sorry I made you worry. I wish I could see you again. Even just once more. Ah. 
Ah, <sighs> all right. Uh, there's quests around here, and I got to pick up the the priest to take to uh Tarrytown. And now everyone here trusts me, so that's good. <laughs> Link. What? Thanks to you, <laughs> all of the divine beasts have returned to Sorry. us. Sorry, can't and help the myself. Spirits of the champions are free. We will all be awaiting your clash with Ganon at Hyrule Castle. Yeah, that's not going to happen just yet. Oh. Yes, hello. Here are the stones. Oh. Thank you, giving me route 10? In that case. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You really brought all ten. Thank you. I'll happily take this from you. That's right, I must reward you. Diamond. One extra as a bonus. Nice. You're a lifesaver, truly. Here are the stones. Oh. This is annoying. <laughs> He's doing it again. Oh my god. That totally happened. Love's counting. So unnecessary. What happens to trust? Where is the trust? Look at how tiny Sidon is, by comparison. <laughs> Link, you did well to survive your trial. I have been waiting for your return. The violent downpour has disappeared, as has the threat to Zora's domain. It is a little more than a bad dream now. Thanks to your effort, there is no longer any threat or danger of a great flood laying waste to Hyrule. Your peas the divine beast Valruta and thusly save Zora's domain. We are truly grateful. What you did for us is more than we could ever expect of you. Link, I sincerely must apologize for my harsh treatment of you. That whole time you were thinking of Hyrule and Lady Mayfair's well-being. Just like the rest of us. All of the members of our council humbly fold our fins back in gratitude along with the rest of our people. Perhaps the older generation of Zora, myself included, misunderstood Hylians after all. It would seem so. That said, I would be overjoyed if you could find it in your heart to forgive me. If not now, then perhaps one day. Link, I must reward your efforts. Now then, I implore you to collect the treasure in that chest over there. It was cherished by me for a memento of sorts. I would like you to have it as a token of our friendship. Please take good care of it. Speaking of the sword that seals the darkness, I hear the- Yeah, 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 I know. Mine that I cannot say with certainty that is the same blade you wielded a hundred years ago. Still, I advise you to go there. Uh-huh. Link all of the Zora thank you from the depths of our hearts for your heroic and selfless work. And you too, Sidon. Yeah. As your father, I am proud of you for fighting the Divine Beast alongside Link. You have grown much recently. I know you will be a worthy heir when your time comes. Huh. Father, I thank you. <laughs> the heavy rains have stopped and the Divine Beast is our ally once again. How glorious. Truly splendid. <laughs> Link, this is wonderful. Link, thank you so much. Truly, I could never thank you enough. You helped save our home from vanishing away. 
This calls for a top tier expression of gratitude. But it's zo zo ra 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 with all my heart. Thank you. I do hope we get to hang out with Sardon more in the sequel. Hey, Sandy. <laughs> How's it going? All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mufa has yet to return. Is it what we feared? Yeah. Met her spirit. Her spirit? So that means Mufa really is. Did did she say anything to you? I see. My dear Mufa, I simply cannot believe it. There was nothing I could do to save her. Still, Mifa fulfilled her heroic duty as champion, and she will never be alone. It is my duty as father, her father, to watch over her even now. Mm. How am I liking Breath of the Wild? Oh, this isn't the first time I played it. Like, this is second time, so... Never forget her. Okay. This is just me challenging myself before the next one comes out. It's her weapon, right? Yeah, okay. Uh, we've used this one enough. Well, I mean, the first time I played it was when it came, first came out, and because I've been playing all the Zelda games in the lead-up to it, it's just... I just had to play it, because it's the last one. Alright, I'm gonna go drop off this weapon to the house with the others. It's alright. It's not the best Zelda game. It has its problems. It's still a very good game. Seems that I was wrong about you. Okay. Even though we lost Lady Mifa, it seems she can still help you fight against Calamity Ganon. Oh, I'm so I'm sorry I didn't introduce myself sooner. I am Giato. I'm a historian who studies our history and preserves it for future generations. Even so... This monument that King Dorothan supposedly wrote is torn to pieces now. Most likely ten. Awful condition. Think about collecting yet compiling into a book. Take a great deal of time. Have I got them? That is why, Link, I like you. Yep. Fine. Ten. Tell me what they say. Okay. unable to find one remaining upland zarana what upland zarana uh, can i be bothered trying to figure out which one he means i don't know yeah if during your travels you meet any engaged couples i would like you to introduce them to me Joining two souls is an honor, one I shall take, stake my life on. Just one more wedding, and I shall be fulfilled. Get a load of this. Okay. And then Tarrytown. So that is set up now. Okay. No more rain here. I don't think there's any more quests aside from that one. Uh, upper Zorana. So it means up there. Okay, I have a look. It's just one. has given me a deep hatred of moist. Why'd you have to phrase it like that? Uh, it's just... Uh, okay. I, I find it hard to believe that when playtesting this game that it didn't occur to them. Hmm. You know what? The rain hinders the player way too much. And okay, that may have been a mistake, sure. But I would just be shocked if 
Tears of the Kingdom has the same rain system. Because it's almost universally hated. I have yet to meet a person that's like, what do you mean? Nah, the rain's fine, don't... It's, it's okay. You can deal with it. It's just annoying. I mean, you can appreciate that it adds to the ambience, but I think having Link constantly slip when trying to climb it was a massive mistake. That's honestly the part that bothers me about it. It happens way too often and there's nothing you can do. It doesn't matter how strong you are, it doesn't matter how much you progress in the game, just everyone experiences it. It's just this thing that exists that's just... Well, time to hinder the player for five minutes. Five to ten minutes. Oh, good, the rain's gone again. Oh, wait, it started up again a minute later. Okay, so he said... Up here somewhere. I mean, honestly, I, I took the effort to get the other nine. I should finish it. I just don't know where he's talking about. It's either on the way here or it's up here, but I don't think it's up here. These are all camps, so it's got to be down here somewhere. Well, the death counter is not going to rise as quickly now because now Mipha's power has been handed over. Oh, there it is. Okay, it's here. This is the one that I've missed. Alright. Memoir of a gifted stonemason. What an honor it was to receive a personal request from King Dorothan to craft a historical stone monument. I did not realize how much content he'd give me, though. Content, sorry. It certainly exceeded the line of limits of a single monument. I suppose I could have shortened the text, but it felt wrong to tamper with our great king's words. Thankfully, I was able to split it all between seven monuments to ensure that every word was preserved. I have always prided myself on the ability to think outside the box. I am so very adaptable and humble as well. I'm the- I'm just the best at being humble. While I was at it, I thought, why not add two of my own? So I created one for Dorothan and one for Sidon. True, this is outside the scope of my commission, but I believe their triumphs deserve that much. But why stop at that? Why indeed, my achievement deserves remembrance too, because I am humble. That is a commission of one became ten. Of course, having increased the number of monuments, I had to find places for them all. That proved difficult. Still, it is worth it. So long as I remember to sign these monuments, my name will be remembered forever, as it should be. Because I am humble. I will beat the shit out of you when it comes to a humble competition. Says the guy who signed that monument. It would seem you have checked all the stone monuments for me. Yep. Now then, please tell me what was written on them. Hmm. The history, culture, folklore, and various heroic acts of the proud Zora people. It's all here. Eureka! Thanks to you, I've compiled the precious information from those stone monuments. Thank you for taking such an arduous task. Yep. Diamond. Okay. That's done. Well, only one thing remains. It's to go uh, lay the weapon to rest. Hmm. 
Along with the others. And then... It's time to start the difficult content, so yay. We're up to the, the difficult content now. It will be fun. Oh, wait. I just remembered something. In the interest of quests, there's like, um... I hate this quest, but I feel like I should do it just while... While I'm here. It's a quest where you have to escort a, uh... A note down the river. I can't remember if you grab the quest here or if it's further up, but I guess we'll see. Yeah, here. Your trial awaits, going bright. Okay. Your, your looks still don't compare to Prince Sidon. But you're not half bad. In fact, I wouldn't mind talking to you for a bit. Wanna talk? That song. I just love singing. Champion Festival. Okay. Well, that's done already. Oh, wait, while I'm here. Should collect more of these. These are great. I don't know. It's either this quest is here or it's, uh... It's at the river's base. I don't remember. If it's not here, I'll just get it later. I mean, if there's still time between Tears of the Kingdom's release and now, then I'll go do it. I think you were able to appease Rita. You turned out to be a pretty incredible guy. In fact, I wonder if you can do this too. Exterminate the Hyanox by Rallus. Okay. Yeah, that's another quest. I, do, I just want to grab the quest more than anything else. It's not that I want to necessarily do it. It's just... Later on in the concept of 100%ing the game, if I really want to go that far, I can. Like I said, one way or another, the moment it's Thursday here, that's going to be the final stream of this, one way or another. I'll fight Ganon that day. So until then, I'll do what I can. See if I can find where. That's. I thought it was from here, but it might be from low ground. Hang on. The Hinox of Rallus. Rallus is like. No, that's Talus. I have no idea where it's referring to, anyway.
Ravioli power. Oh, there it is. Yep, there's the quest. I'm gonna save y'all, because this quest is a pain in the ass. <laughs> save. Okay. Carry my thoughts to him. Hmm? Do you have a wish for the Water Fairy too? I suppose not. If you did, you'd have a letter to send. Boy, does that mean you're a servant of the Water Fairy? That's right. That can't possibly be so. Please don't make fun of me just because I'm a cute girl. If you're a traveler, that's lucky for me. Oh, wow. If that's the case, I have an important request for you. Once I release it, I'd like you to follow my love letter and get to know whomever picks it up. Once you do that, please report back to me so I can find out what kind of person he is. I know, I know, you're probably thinking, why not just go yourself, lazy girl? I'm right, aren't I? The thing is, I promised my mother I wouldn't venture out too far. So I'm begging you, please, find the person who picks up the letter. Fine. Thank you. Excellent, I'm going to throw in the letter now. Are you ready? Okay. The letter containers break easily. So you're just gonna, yep, you're just gonna yeet it into the river. You just said they break easily and you're just gonna do that. Not gently put it, place it. time. This will this will be a quest that I'm able to do pretty easily. But okay, see, this is the part that I take issue with is just the fact that okay, just just follow it. Assume everything's gonna be okay. Is it following me? Sort of. Okay, I need to go fight this thing now. Oh, that's not good. It's okay, the thing's not con- I fucking hate these things. It's not continuing. So I guess it's fine. Ooh, 
Ooh, that's not good. How far back is it going to put me? I think I have to do this again now. Luckily made an extra. Conveniently made an extra. Okay, but this time it should be fine. I made the mistake of not putting a platform when I was going to drop over the waterfall. I wonder if it's uh, still down there. It is. Why? It was with me a minute ago. I didn't do anything. Did it shatter? <sighs> this is why I saved. I don't know what happened to it. Why? Link. Oh, now is this going to happen every time I load? Your journey. You have overcome every challenge laid before you. Ruta. Rudenia. Meadow. Naboris. All of the divine beasts are now free. With the strength you have attained, I am certain you can unlock the powerful force hidden within. Go to the Shrine of Resurrection. Oh, yeah, this is the ballads thing. To its terminal. Yeah, the champion's ballad. There we go. Cool. That that happened. All right.
I'll take it. It breaks easily. I'm gonna use a bomb arrow for this. I think this this will suffice. Uh, this should suffice. Let's see. Kinda. It should go through this. Hopefully. What was that? This might be a problem. I really don't want to assume this is going to be okay. Oh boy. We're good, we're good. Everything's all good. Stasis. Hopefully it didn't do anything horrible. myself more time. part where I was... Something happened here, I'm not sure what. Still fine. Good. 
keeping a close eye on it now. I don't know what happened before. What if an Octorok destroyed it? That, that's a possibility. I'm gonna be safe with this. Someone's way. <laughs> if I, I can sneak past this, just be careful. Did it already continue? I don't see it. Why did it vanish again? This course is so frustrating because... I did nothing to lose sight of it. It was right next to me, and because, what, I wasn't completely on top of it, it just despawns. I was not that far away from it. Yeah, that's that's a fun quest. I'll have one more go at it, but it's just I figured while I was here, if it's on the way, do it. Look better this time.
quite. Definitely one of that. The arrows, that is. down a little. I should almost bring it with me. Like at this point, just bring it with me. Otherwise, it's going to cause problems. Speaking of causing problems. Yeah, this is the most sane option. Put it down. It's still behind me, right? Still alive. Might have to take stamina just so I don't drown and lose sight of it.
All good. Saving doesn't help. It just gets rid of it. Oh no, come on, not now. Okay, we need to make sure we don't die here. Make sure it doesn't attack the thing. <laughs> this is the worst quest in the game. I think I got it this time. There's only one more disaster I gotta deal with up ahead, but I gotta wait until I get there. I'm gonna use a bomb arrow for that one. And a tankiness buff as well. Careful, 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 careful. Okay. I need to get across this gap. Why doesn't this work? Out of interest. As long as it's still there, it's still safe, it's in play. It's just, I need to deal with this now.
to deal with that. Where's it gone? There. Okay, it's fine. What the fuck? What was that? that I have to do that, but I got no choice. There's no ravioli power. Nearly there. I think that's it. I think home stretch now. <laughs> Stupid quest. It ta is this is this taking me like half an hour to do? I still have to go back and report. along the shore now. Ugh. Imagine one of the fish just destroy it. want to interfere with it just in case it doesn't count if I just go drop it there but I just I just need to let this run its course it's just really pushing it right now in terms of how slow it is it's not moving Okay, that's fine. Cutscene. Thank you. Aww. Sorry for the random question, but have you ever been to Zara's Domain? Yes. Mm. Let's see. Is it far from here? It's not that far. Aww. Let's see. Oh, sorry. Forgot to introduce myself. I am Sasan, the traveling merchant. I was on my way to Zara's Domain, but a love letter in this inlet caught my eye. The writer seems to be a lovely Zara named Finley. I've been corresponding with her by giving my replies to travelers heading to Zara's domain. So, were you following this letter? Yes. Mm. Hmm. So she asked you to come down here and see what kind of person I am. Is that it? Well, earlier I lied when I wrote to her that I was a buff traveler. She said she wanted to meet me, but even though I'm dying to meet her, I can't do it. Mm. I've really blown it. If I had known this would happen, that I'd fall for her, I never would have lied. Love reigns supreme. Aww. Love reigns supreme, huh? Hmm. Suppose it does. You know, hearing that makes me feel a little better. Okay, it's time for me to take a chance and try to meet her. Oh, that reminds me. I wonder if the torrential rain has stopped. She's waiting in Zora's domain. That's what the letter says anyway. Uh -huh. I'll, so I'll achieve two goals at the same time and train up my muscles on the way there. I'll get super beefy. Yeah, that's the ticket. I'll run all the way to the domain. Catch you later. We'll meet again at Zora's domain, I'm sure of it. Okay. Hooray! <laughs> Fucking annoying quest. That was like the worst kind of escort quest. Okay. 
I'm fine. Oh, the chest over here is gone. I don't have to uh, travel too far to find. Fuck. You know what? I have to beat you because there's a weapon we need anyway to show the kid. I need, I need that sword. Uh. Gonna take it. That almost hit me. Almost got struck by lightning a third time. Without wearing anything that warranted it. I'm gonna put Wind Cleaver in the house. So then I have the weapon on me. The sword is always here, so I know I know where to find a traveler's sword. Travelers bow. I'm going to claim this because this is uh this is rightfully mine. I just want to put it over here. Okay. Thanks! I was going to take a photo of it, but game says fuck you. Huh? 
Wasn't she here? I think I need to go all the way back to Zara's domain now. Ugh. Okay. Yeah, she was usually here, so I guess we just had to find Finley. Let's go, Ravioli. Isn't this a high knocks I need to beat? No? Okay. It doesn't matter. Glad it's not raining here anymore. <laughs> it's just so nice. Ooh, Kilton is over there. Come on. The Dark series? Where this and you'll become a monster yourself. Okay. Oh, there we go.
Oh, wow. Uh, exchange for one. All of them, you can have them all, my friend. Same with these. I, I want that Dark Link set. Not that I'm gonna wear it, but you know, it's cool. Oh, it's 2,000. Man, that's expensive. <laughs> what else have I got? Like, large quantities. Eyeballs? Lionel mask. I want the Lionel mask. I don't really have anything else in large quantities. I think if I just spread out the cost with this stuff, it should be fine. That'll do. Definitely want this Lionel mask. Okay. That'll do. Good trades. Here we are. Uh, oh, it's you. Hey, Sasan. This is the guy who made sure my love letter reached you safely. Oh, it's you. As you can see, somehow I made it to Zora's domain. Mm. 
Thanks to you, I managed to work up the courage to finally meet Finley. At least that's how I see it. <laughs> Thank you so much for introducing me to my soulmate. So San and I discussed it, and we decided we just had to thank you the next time we saw you. So here, this is from the both of us. Thanks for everything. <laughs> so San, be sure to swim and climb and lift and stuff a lot. That'll help you build up those muscles you promised me. As you wish, my darling. I'll try my best. <laughs> okay. Get buff. <laughs> Link, I must thank you. You somehow overcame the objections of the old geezers on our council, all to help our save our home. Yes, you are a treasure of a Hylian, taking the time out of your journey to come to our rain and monster-ridden home. And here you activated those orbs with shock arrows, freed Ruda, and released my sister from her lingering regret. Link, I simply cannot thank you enough, especially for following me to the end. Pushy and unreasonable as I am. Zora's domain would still be in peril if not for you. You are welcome anytime, and we are ever at your service. Have I mentioned how incredible you are, and how thankful I am? Because you are, and I am, yes, you are the most greatest of Hylians and my most treasured friend for all time. I don't think it was pushy. I think always polite. Okay, uh, it's time for an intermission. I think it's a good point to just take a break for a little bit. Uh, I just want to stretch my legs, get a drink, all that stuff. But if you're watching on YouTube, this is the point where I say, Bye YouTube, hope you did enjoy this one. I think all the stuff that's happened, particularly in this segment, have been fun. So it makes up for yesterday's uh, soft luck. But yeah, consider doing uh, the fun algorithm stuff if you want to support what I'm doing. Alright, bye YouTube!